Hi, I'm Guy from Team 3491 Fix It, and this is the fifth video in our Vuforia tutorial series. So, before I begin, just to say that the uh, general gist of this video is going to be a bit more in depth into Vuforia than the other videos, so video number four or six, which should be out shortly. Uh, if all your team wants to do is navigate towards the beacons, then you don't have to watch this. You can just kind of pay attention to 4 and 6. However, um, if your team wants to actually process the image coming from the camera by themselves, then you, by all means, uh, keep watching this video. We'll also be showing you how to um, find out where the beacon, where the image is, uh, where the beacon is in your camera image. Okay, uh, so let's begin. So to begin with, uh, we we'll want to begin with a Java class and name this Vuforia Localizer Templar Subclass. Okay, um, so there were some fixes. I, I know that the uh, solution to this to get the image was posted on GitHub, um, but after I ran into some problems with it, especially with uh, memory-wise and the um, GL view basically not being handled, I guess, correctly. Uh, some a bit more robust fix has been given to me uh, by the programmers, so a lot of this code may be unnecessary. Maybe uh, the, the solution posted on GitHub would, will work for you, um, but this code right here should work with basically everyone. It should be it should work whatever um, you're using. Um, okay, so we're just kind of importing all of these. We'll provide the uh, this text file right here in the description below. Um, so you don't have to write it out by yourself. That's kind of a waste of time. Support all these classes, and that should be good. Okay, yeah. Then next, what we want to do is we want to... Um, like uh, you guys can come up with a different way of doing it. Just for a really simple way of accessing the image, uh, we can make a public image object. So let's call this RGB com dot euphoria dot image, not the normal Android one. And um, then every time this this callback runs, because you know it's getting registered here, uh, every time this callback runs, we can update this image object right here. Okay, so let's actually set about doing that. So to begin with, we want the amount of the number of images that the uh, that Vuforia is actually providing us. So to get that, we call this state object from over here. Get frame. Oh, sorry. Actually, this is already this frame right here is we can use. So frame dot get num images, and then we want to iterate all that. So num plus and uh, Vuforia provides images, I think right now it should provide us five different images in different formats. So four of these images are going to be grayscale, and we don't want grayscale images. Or well, maybe you do, but in this case we don't. Um, and so we're going to make, sh we're going to check the format of this image, so get format, and make sure it equals um, RGB 565, which is the format that we want in this case. Uh, just a side note, uh, Vuforia can give you images in 565, as I said, or 888. And um, what I found, and I haven't gone, in this, gone into this too much, I guess, but what I found is that uh, many phones support 565 or 888, but not both. Some phones do, but many phones don't. The Moto G3, which I'm using, supports 565. Okay, just a side note. If you're using a different phone, it could very well support RGB 888. Anyway, um, so we can just kind of set that. So we have RGB equals um, frame dot get image i. Okay, and that should uh, set it up quite nicely, and we can access this image quite well. Um, now we can head back over to Vuforia op. Since we've changed the type of localizer that we're using, we've got to tell, we've got to say that. So we've got to change that. Um, 
We also got to change the way we're initializing it. So Euphoria subclass. Here we go. Okay, everything else should be the same. Um, yeah, so that should all that should be all right. And then on here, I'm going to get rid of this right now, uh, or just comment it out. We don't need it. But um, okay, so uh, first we want to make sure that the image that we're accessing isn't null. Because at the beginning, before it, the before it actually gets an image, the image would be null, and we don't want to throw any errors. And then if it isn't null, then we want to store that. We want to make a bitmap, because bitmaps are the Android stable for processing. Bitmap VM, and call this. And then foia.rgb, get width, foia.rgb, get height, and then in this case, since we're using RGB 565, we're going to say RGB 565, and then copy fix uh, pixels from buffer, .get pixels. Okay, so there's your bitmap, and that should be, um, like you can save that to a folder in your, uh, on your phone, oops, in your phone, you can display that however you want to check it, but I can assure you at least I've tested it and it works, that uh, you now have a bitmap to process. And you can do, um, you can use the byte buffer, you can use OpenCV, whatever you want to use, but now this bitmap should be what the camera is seeing. With, uh, interestingly, it will have a Vuforia watermark. Um, watermark. It shouldn't be an issue, but just so you know. Okay, um, so there is one last thing that I said, said I would do, and um, that would be display the uh, or at least receive the location of the beacon on like on your image, so the pixel coordinate x comma x y in your camera image. Just to illustrate what I mean by that exactly, um, what we need to do is um, we need to process the way this is working a bit. So I, I want to uncomment all this stuff because I want to iterate through all of these again. Um, we'll be using the normal Vuforia default library, so we want to get raw pose, not just get pose. So um, get raw pose gives you the um, the default Vuforia data, whereas just get pose would be a little processed. But anyway, so again, we I shouldn't have deleted that. We do want to make sure the pose isn't null, and we want to initialize something called uh, matrix thirty four F, and we'll just say. That's called raw pose. Matrix 34F. Oops. Um, then we want to do some processing on it. It's uh, processing on this pose right here because, as I said before, even at get raw pose, it is a bit different than Vuforia expects. Um, but we do want to load the data. So let's say float pose data equals. Um, I'll just write this out and explain what I'm doing here. Oops. Arrays. That's what I want. And then we want to do post.trans post data 0, 12. Okay, so it seems to be happy. Um, once we do that, we can set data and post data. Okay, so that should be uh, kind of the position data as Vuforia expects it. Then uh, we want to do something. Um, again, using the FOIA default video, uh, default library. So it's called tool.projectPoint. Uh, we need camera calibration, which is in here. Before you, in case you guys forgot, FOIA is the uh, FOIA localizer here. And then tutorial uh, tool.projectPoint, and then we want to pass it bar pose. And um, vec3f, and I'll just quickly type this out, and then, okay, so, hang on, last two things, Oops. okay, so now what all of this is doing is essentially, um, as I said before, this position data right here that's coming into here is a bit different, it's just arranged differently, so um, all this is doing here is we rearrange it into how we want it, um, and then what this is saying is it's using the camera uh, projection 
matrix and the uh, process position data and it's using that data to um, figure out where a point in 3D space is on the camera. Okay, and so what that means um, is say you're at the very center of your object, what this is doing, which we are right now, um, what this is doing is it's figuring out where the center of your beacon or the uh, beacon image is on your screen. And um, that's basically uh, what you might want to do just to locate it on your image. What our team is doing is we're actually, um, we want to crop the image around the beacon image, the beacon uh, image target, just so we can uh, analyze the beacon configuration better. Okay, so just to kind of say what that all means, um, say we have the, say we're looking at the beacon image from across the field, we want to crop the area around that image so we can just be looking at the um, beacon itself, which means that our camera could analyze the beacon configuration from across the field. Okay, so I realized that was still a bit confusing, but we'll try forging ahead, and if you guys really have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, I guess post in the comments. But um, to actually crop the image, we need the corners. And this is actually um, surprisingly easy to actually get the corners, just because you have to alter this point. So what we want to do is we want to go to Assets, and this is just to show you, like, oops, to figure out what I'm talking about here. Um, the size of the image is 254 width by 184 height, and this is in millimeters, but V4 really doesn't care. And 0, 0, 0 refers to the center of the image. So if I want to go to the upper left corner, I've got to go um, negative 127, so to the leftmost edge, you know, because that's the um, half the width. And then I want to go to the um, topmost edge, so 92. And that's approximately where the corner will be. Um, and obviously we don't want to be lifting away from, we want to be on the sheet of paper, so Z is going to be the same um, thing. So let's name that, so upper left. And uh, just copy paste. Okay, um, so now we need to get just all the corners. So upper right, lower right, oops, lower right. And then we need to alter this. So um, on the upper right, obviously, we need to go to the rightmost edge. So that's going to be the rightmost edge. And then topmost, so that should be up, uh, up right. Lower right would be rightmost, and then bottommost edge, and then lower left should just be both negative. Um, these will be the two corners no matter what, so I could be referring to the wheels image, the tools image, the gears image, it doesn't matter. These will be the four corners that we're using. Okay, so now we have the proper points. Um, I can display these any way I want. Um, the way our team is cropping it is using OpenCV. That's a bit too uh, complex. I don't want to open that can of worms right now. But these points, so if you uh, refer to upper left dot get data, that should be the x coordinate in your image of where the uh, upper left corner of the um, image target is. Okay, so that is um, how to get the image from view, uh, that V4 you're seeing, that your camera's seeing, and also how to process that image so you can end up cropping it. Um, in case you're wondering, as I said before, we're using OpenCV to crop the image. The general Android library um, cropping, I've, as far as I know, is a little limited, which is why we're using OpenCV. But if anyone comes up with a solution that doesn't require OpenCV, and so it might be a bit simpler, um, well, please share the news or anything like that. It, I'm sure it'll be very useful to everyone. There we have it. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, you can just comment on, just comment below, and we'll try to answer them as soon as we can.